Hi all, this is another pet repair, this time it's uh, 432 garbage screen and this is a uh, um, 9 inches uh, version so it has the what it's called the 2001N board like uh, all the previous repair I've made it has an option room which I'll uh, remove and uh, dump shortly it has an option interface that has been added, the DB9 connector going uh, somewhere under the PCB I'll discover it later and I already checked uh, all the three power supply on the on the RAMs and they are fine no hot uh, capacitors uh, no visible damages and so on and uh, it has sockets on our RAMs which is good but also bad because they are the low quality CBM Commodore sockets let's see what happens the first steps when checking a dead machine uh, are always the same first checking the clock signal to the CPU checking the reset signal uh, NMI, higher cool, not stuck and uh, a few other signals which I did and all signal looks uh, good the second step is checking the ROMs so um, I keep some lists with the uh, ROM number this is basic uh, 3 and this is basic 4 ROM number, checksum, uh, name, and type and so on so when checking the UD9 uh, the kernel in this uh, machine but my one of my programmers and trying to read it's reading okay this means uh, on the second pass of reading it uh, has a different reading from the first pass so I know this from is bad a quick test is uh, inserting the pet tester bin in the UD9 socket which is the kernel I'm trying to run and in this case it seems it's running very good fine so probably the only problem of this machine was the bad kernel ROM so I uh, burn another EEPROM with the kernel ROM image and try to run the machine with that and now with the new ROM in place we have the correct basic prompt correct amount of memory so now it's time to run uh, some tests on this machine and see if everything looks good my final test on a pet machine is always try to load something with CBM link uh, connected uh, to the user port um, sending uh, some problems from the PC so send, let's send the CBM link uh, main program now yeah, here we have some errors it means that the bits coming uh, from the user port are not uh, arriving well uh. okay now there is a new 6522 here and let's see what happens when we send the program from the PC it's, it's loading correctly so that uh, was it uh, a bad 6522 which makes kind of sense because this other interface here uh, I don't know what this was for but it's connecting directly 
on the pins of the user port that goes to port A of this uh, 6522 so at one time uh, something happened and some bits of uh, this chip were damaged okay so this pretty much uh, solved the problems uh, with this pet which is now working properly thank you for watching